Okay, welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're gonna find out how much a sentinel ship is worth. Because it's the discussion came up. When I, for normal ships, I probably get three, four, five, maybe at most 10 million. Um, but I'm wondering how much we get for a sentinel ship. So I'm gonna, I have a couple of ships and I've been meaning to, um, I've been meaning to get rid of this. Let me explain why. It only has two supercharged slots. So even though the hyperdrive range is awesome, I found that by putting the upgrades in here without the third supercharged slot, I don't get the um, hyperdrive range as good as some other ships, from what I can tell. So I'm, a, I'm assuming the reason is the supercharged slots. So I'm gonna get rid of this uh, because I would want better slots. So let's go and I need to um, I need to land in the space station so I can get back to Hilbert if something happens. Um, oh also there's one other thing I'm gonna do in this episode. We got something as a result of um, finishing the Artemis line. And in the past when I've done this, I've literally forgotten about... Here, let's do... Let's... I'm trying to do too many things at once. By the way, these videos are not scripted and I do make mistakes and, and say wrong things. I try and edit most of the stuff out that I can remember. And I don't really remake videos very often because of time. I don't have, this is not my job. I have to make a living. And, uh, you know, I have a family and other things. So, um. Let's sell this ship. Question is, how much are we going to get for a Sentinel ship? My ship is a Class A ship, so it's pretty good. And it's got a good number of slots. And it came out of the Omega uh, Expedition. $42 million. So it looks like that guy's comment about the ship being worth like 40 million the sentinel ship was right he must have gotten 42 million for the sentinel ship there all right one other thing in this episode um I'm going to put the remembrance in there and uh, I'll work on installing that while I do other stuff because actually to install that you're going to need the heart of the sun and I believe you have to do the atlas line to get that oh cool I have a storage augmentation for my main ship so let's add that actually I'll do that off of episode um, yeah, let's end the episode here. I just wanted to show you how much a sen sentinel ship is worth. Um, what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to go to near the center of Hilbert. So I'll show you an easy way to do that. And uh, we're going to look for a settlement on a paradise planet so that we can do a trace of metal instead on a paradise planet and I'll explain why I do that. Also I'm going to install the scatter blaster because I'm going to need a little more firepower 
uh, when doing the trace of metal. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, by that runaway mold, I do have a base. I haven't built a wall around the runaway, one runaway mold. I thought it's kind of funny the way it, it runs away when you shoot it, especially on a downhill like that. Um, eventually, I'll build a base over there, or I'll build a base at where there's more running mold than, than is there. All these bases, a lot of these bases are just temporary until I get an S class or a better one. So anyway, there it is, a Sentinel ship worth 42 million or so. Thank you for watching.